So where are we with all this? One year on. Joining me is another good friend of Kimberley Kitchen, Cameron Milner, who's a former Chief of Staff to Bill Shorten, also a friend of Kimberley, uh, when Bill Shorten was the Labor leader. Cameron Milner, thank you so much for your time. Cameron, uh, when Kimberley died, you, the so-called mean girls, uh, Penny Wong, Kate Gallagher, um, Christina Keneally, said that out of respect for Kimberley's grieving family, there shouldn't be a big debate then about what had actually happened. It wasn't the right time then, they said. Is now the right time to have this discussion? A absolutely, Andrew, and I think it was the right time even back then. But certainly a year later, and certainly uh, on the anniversary, the first anniversary of Kimberley's passing, it is absolutely the right time to find out where the bullying is at the centre of the Labor ministerial leadership. Uh, because that's the accusation that's there. The accusation is that we know Kimberley was bullied, we know that Penny Wong was abusive. We know Penny Wong gaslit Senator Kimberley Kitching. It's all in the public record. It's all in the public record. And yet I don't think people should hand, stand behind simply saying out of respect because the inquiry needs to be had, it needs to be independent, and we need to get to the bottom of this. And Penny needs to clear her name. Now, I should just repeat what I said before, that uh, all three women denied bullying, although Penny Wong... Uh, did apologise for You'd one comment. You'd expect them to say it because it's such a horrible thing to have done. I'm just trying to underline... You'd expect you know, them to say the, that. ..the legal uh, points here, uh, Cameron. But what specific behaviour do you think needs to be addressed? Well, I think the fact that, that Kimberley Kitching clearly raised the issue of bullying, not only with Richard Miles as the deputy leader at the time, but also with a PwC uh, representative of the parliament. Uh, she texted a friend the night before she complained officially to the PwC person saying, Penny has been really bad. So we know and have identified that link. We know that Penny Wong said about uh, Kimberley, who couldn't have children, if you had children, you'd understand the climate emergency. That's abusive. That's gaslighting. We know she took Linda Reynolds' word over Kimberley Kitchings and accused Kimberley of treason and disloyalty to the Labor Party. Kimberley wrote a complete rebuttal of that. Yet Penny was happy to take Linda Reynolds' word, who'd called Brittany Higgins a cow and was under massive pressure at the time. She took her word over Kimberley's. I don't think that's the Labor way. And I think these matters need investigation. And I think we need to get to the bottom of where the bullying is at the heart of Anthony Albanese's leadership team. That's what we need to clear the air on. But Cameron, you know, look, you've, you've, you've been very involved uh, in a very intimate way with politics for a long time. You know politics is a tough business. And, and I think it should be tough. I mean, we don't want weak people. We need strong people to lead this country. We need a robust testing of ideas, rough, tough debates. Otherwise, you know, bad ideas sneak through. But why do you think the treatment of Kimberley Kitchen crossed the line? Because Kimberley was someone who had uh, something to say. Kimberley was making a huge contribution to the, the wider democratic process in Australia. She was travelling the world as an Australian senator representing Australia. She's exactly the sort of person I would love to see still alive today, but she's dead. And she died of a heart attack caused by stress, and I believe because of workplace bullying. Her death should actually do, should be a reason for us to pause and actually say we need to do better in the Australian body politic. Well, I'm not sure what, what triggered the heart attack. I know she had other health issues, so I, I'm not going to point the finger at anyone. I think the, the bullying is the issue here, whether or not it led to her death. But, it is. But Cameron, it is. I, and I agree with you, a woman of such tremendous gifts and patriotism, uh, it, it Absolutely, you know, breaks Andrew. my heart. But, Absolutely. But as a friend that she's not there, but also in terms of the national interest, I think it's just so... Tragic, it, it, she's it, not there. But listen, uh, go it ahead. It is an absolute tragedy. It's an absolute tragedy. And now, I'm Cameron, really upset even talking about it now. I know, I know. We all are. Uh, and I uh, was in contact with a with a husband today too, and uh, I don't think he's travelling all that well. Um, my heart goes out to the family, of course, as well. Now, now Cameron... Absolutely. Um, I just wonder if there's some hypocrisy here from Labor. I mean... I tell you what, I, I had a briefing this week, along with a couple of other Sky News hosts, uh, 
uh, one of these proactive things that, go, that, that companies now must do under the new Respect at Work laws that the Albanese government got through Parliament to protect women at work from harassment and victimisation and the rest. And it was astonishing when it went through all, the lawyers went through all the kind of uh, things now, the hoops that employers and people like me in a, a position of some authority over staff that we have to go through to make sure that no one is feeling bad, that we have to go around and say, are you OK? We have to prove that we've gone out of our way to check that women aren't being bullied and aren't being harassed. We've got to chase every uh, suggestion that there might be. Uh, we can now have... The Human Rights Commission come barging in uninvited to our workplace and demand an audit. And, all, and these are labour laws. And yet here, when there's allegations about Kimberley Kitching being bullied by labour ministers who pass these laws, nothing. Explain that. Anthony Albanese said, the standard you walk past is the standard you accept. And I think absolutely that Labor needs to walk and talk and do the right thing. And on workplace bullying, there should be zero tolerance for it, whoever it is. Penny Wong might like to say to herself that she's the number two in charge of the Labor Party, effectively the Deputy Prime Minister in all but name. Well, there are charges and there are allegations about bullying that she participated in, and that needs to be cleared up. And Labor needs to look at its own backyard and its own leadership before preaching to others. I have to say I agree with you, uh, Karen Milner. Thank you so much indeed for your time. Thank you so much for your time.